Welcome to the FM Home Lab uh, channel. Today we are going to uh, do some uh, measurements on actual JFET uh, mixer and uh, we will uh, compare the, the measurements with the theory which was uh, presented in the previous uh, videos. Um, also at uh, the end I will uh, present some extra theory and some uh, KVETs uh, which uh, you may uh, fall into when you're doing these uh, measurements. Okay, this is the, uh, the circuit uh, diagram for the uh, JFET uh, mixer, which uh, I use to uh, measure the performance of this uh, mixer. And on the right, uh, we see the table, which uh, gives for, for every frequency in the output, uh, it gives the uh, signal strength, uh, which is a current in this uh, case. When uh, you will measure the voltage, you will have to uh, take the load into account. As we, as we will see uh, later. Well, let's uh, move on uh, to the bench and uh, do some uh, measurements. All right, back at uh, the bench uh, now. This is the circuit I built uh, to test the JFET mixers. It's actually a circuit which is, uh, can also be used to test uh, cascode JFET uh, mixers. Um, at the moment uh, you see one uh, one JFET which is active now. This one is not uh, active, it's uh, not uh, connected. The signal, the RF signal is getting in uh, through here. This is the pad for the gate. This is the source. The LO is uh, put on this uh, connector here. I can uh, tap the signals from the gate and the source and put them in the oscilloscope to measure the amplitudes of the signals. This is the drain pad which is uh, connected to this uh, pad through this uh, bridge here. This is the drain uh, resistor and this is the load, a load of uh, 51 uh, ohms. And this is where the output signal is uh, taken uh, from. The, this is a circuit to uh, stabilize the source uh, a little bit. All right. Um, what we will do is uh, we will uh, first we will measure the voltages of the LO and the RF, and we will uh, we will first uh, put uh, the LO on the source and measure the amplitude of the LO signal. Also, we will measure the leak through of the LO onto the gate, which we will measure by this one, and. Uh, Similar, we will put a signal on the RF, measure its amplitude on the gate, and we will measure the leak through of the RF onto the source and measure it uh, with uh, this. This is uh, channel 1, the yellow uh, channel. This is uh, channel 2, the purple uh, channel. Also, we will measure the voltages, the DC voltages at the source and the, uh, at the source and the drain, to uh, be used uh, later. All right, let's get uh, started. First, uh, let's take some uh, DC uh, measurements. First, the the supply uh, voltage, which is 14.7. Uh, uh, the voltage at the drain, 11.43. Voltage at the source, that can't be right. 1.775, let's make it 1.78. And of course, the voltage at the gate is zero. Okay, well let's put a signal on it. First I put the LO on it, which is uh, 8 uh, megahertz as uh, you can see. The yellow signal is the at the source and the purple signal is at the gate. So let's take some measurements. The peak-to-peak -peak voltage of the LO is 
800 uh, millivolts so the amplitude is uh, 400 uh, millivolts the leak through of the LO at the gate is let's make it some take some statistics 7.2 millivolts so that makes 3.6 millivolts put the RF signal on it change the trigger alright take some new statistics Peak to peak voltage of the RF at the gate is 264 millivolts, so amplitude is 132 millivolts. And the leak through at the source is 34.5.7. Half of that makes 17.9 millivolts. Okay, <clears throat> I change the uh, channel one. I put it on the source, uh, on the on the drain now, which has got the output of the mixer. We can get rid of the measurements. Okay, introduce the uh, LO signal. There it is. We've got some beautiful harmonics. Probably this, uh, it's way out of uh, screen. Let's take it down a little bit. All right. Make sure it fits entirely on the screen. Okay, take some averaging. Well, there we are. This is the output of uh, the mixer. Let's uh, step uh, through it a little bit. The center of this uh, frequency spectrum is at uh, 10 megahertz with uh, DC at far left and 20 megahertz at the far right. The LO at 8 megahertz, RF input at uh, uh, 9 megahertz, LO minus RF should be at 1 megahertz, which is here. LO plus RF is 8 plus 9 is 17 megahertz. This is this one. This is the twice the LO at 16 megahertz and twice the RF at 18 megahertz. Okay, let's uh, take some uh, measurements. Put the cursors on. X1 is at uh, the LO, X2. All right. The LO signal is at uh, X1 at 8 uh, megahertz. The signal strength is minus 28.4. RF is at minus 39.6. Let's go to the LO minus RF. It's here. Minus 62.8. LO plus RF should be the same according to the theory. Oh, whoa! Minus 62.8. Twice the LO at 16 megahertz. There it is at minus 58 decibels. And twice the RF at 18 megahertz. Minus 80.4. 
Well, let's put uh, them in a uh, sheet and compare them to the calculated uh, values. See you in the office. Okay. These are the default, uh, the DC uh, measurements for for the uh, for the circuit. I use a uh, uh, BF two forty five B uh, JFET, which is uh, number sixty from my uh, long series of uh, measurements on different uh, JFETs. Um, this is the pinch off uh, voltage for this uh, uh, particular JFET at uh, minus uh, three point nine volts. IDSS of uh, 10.12 uh, milliamps. The load of this uh, circuit at the moment is uh, 48 uh, ohms. I will tell some more uh, about this uh, later. The LO and the RF uh, frequencies at 8 and 9 megahertz. The amplitude of the LO at the source. The RF amplitude at the gate. And also the amplitude of the LO uh, leaking through at the gate, which is uh, here, at 36 uh, millivolts, and uh, similar the amplitude of the RF leaking through at the source. It says uh, drain here, but this should be source, of course. Okay. This is a table for the uh, measured uh, signals at uh, the output, and I can also put the calculated values uh, in it. The calculated uh, values from the model, which uh, I presented uh, earlier, give a um, signal strength in which is a current. Uh, should be uh, translated to voltage by uh, multiplying the by multiplying the current with the uh, with the load, which is uh, this uh, divided uh, by uh, square root of two to give uh, RMS uh, voltage and convert it to uh, decibels. All right. Uh, of course, I made a. Uh, Simple spreadsheet uh, for this uh, to, cal to calculate the signal strength in uh, decibel. This is the uh, spreadsheet for the calculation of the of the signals at uh, the output. Here you can see the uh, uh, IDSS, the pinch off uh, voltage, with a uh, with a minus uh, sign here, but in calculations it's uh, taken uh, care of. Uh, the uh, amplitude of the LO, the amplitude of the RF at the respective ports, the output impedance, and here you can see the um, input uh, capacitance uh, for the scope, which is uh, set to uh, nearly zero uh, now. Um, later I will do some uh, comparisons, comparisons to uh, check for uh, measurement uh, effect of the scope on the on the calculated uh, values. The calculated uh, values are here in decibels. The measured values I put in here, and here you can see the difference between the measured and the calculated uh, values. Let's put these values into the table. I put some uh, some values, uh, the, the values uh, which uh, I measured and calculated in this uh, table. Uh, the measured uh, values are here. The calculated uh, values uh, without uh, any corrections are in this uh, column. In this column I put the calculated values with uh, LO corrected uh, for the leaking through LO at the gate and as you may have seen at the at the scope output the signals at the LO and uh, the gate are uh, more or less in phase 
So what I did in uh, this uh, column was subtract the LO signal leaking through at the gate from the LO signal at the source and put uh, these uh, values in the spreadsheet. Similar, I corrected the RF signal at the gate with the RF signal leaking through at the source. I subtracted it uh, from uh, the signal at the gate and calculated uh, the values for the signals at the output uh, again. Now you see the um, differences are smaller. This one, uh, a very, uh, without uh, any corrections, they varied from uh, minus 0 0.1 to minus uh, 6.8. Now they uh, vary from 0 to minus 4.2. Also, in this column, I correct for the scope input capacitance. And for this, it was also important to, to mention the LO and the RF uh, frequencies, of course. And this will bring the, uh, the measured uh, values and the calculated uh, values even closer. And we should uh, focus on uh, this uh, frequency. Uh, the rest of the frequencies, so uh, we should uh, get them as uh, low as uh, possible, but uh, only for the purpose of uh, proving that the model is uh, right, I did these uh, measurements. Um, I will also, in the beginning of the video, I also promised you some extra material. We have to, uh, to realize that the IDSS is not constant. It uh, depends on the voltage over the drain and the source. If uh, you, uh, you look at the JFET uh, characteristic uh, curves of the uh, drain current versus the voltage over the drain and the source, you get uh, these uh, kind of uh, curves where the um, in the ideal uh, world, the current uh, would be constant above some uh, certain uh, value for a particular uh, voltage over the gate and source. In practice, the current is uh, slightly uh, increasing with increasing uh, voltage over uh, drain and source. The, uh, the angle of this uh, curve is given by the uh, YOS, which is uh, given in, uh, in data sheets. Also, to test if the measured values uh, fit the mathematical model uh, well, the output impedance, which is uh, formed by the source resistor and this uh, load uh, resistor, should be uh, small enough for the, for the parasitic capacitance between gate and drain to be discharged uh, sufficiently uh, quick. If the, for example, if uh, in my circuit where the source resistor is uh, 1K, if I remove the load uh, resistor, the parasitic capacitance between gate and drain cannot be uh, discharged uh, sufficiently fast. So the signals at the output at higher frequencies are attenuated uh, more, than the, uh, more than the model uh, predicts. Well, that uh, should be uh, more or less uh, enough, I think, for the, for the JFET uh, mixers. I'm quite happy with uh, the, the model. It seems to fit uh, very good to the measured uh, values. Next time in this uh, series, we will be moving on to an entirely different uh, subject. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.